Good morning! Today is a very, very, very exciting day because we are going to set sail for Puerto Rico. <laughs> and we've been hearing the most stunning things about this place. And of course, it's Latin culture, which means there's always gonna be good food, good music, good dancing, and good people. And uh, I think we're all just really, really keen to make our way over there. Got 20 knots today, gonna have uh, good wind, should be downwind sailing, fairly low seas. I think it's gonna be a pretty cool passage. It's pretty short. The Spanish Virgin Islands, the island of Culebra. Let's check the old engine here. Okay, this engine has almost 7,300 hours on it. It does not burn one drop of oil. I think that's pretty good. Maybe it's because I change the oil every 250 hours. I think it's due for a change now, actually. I have to do that soon. I generally also look around for like anything that just seems a little out of ordinary. But everything looks normal, ready to go. How's the belly when you're sailing? Yeah, sometimes it's really good and sometimes it's not so good. <laughs> it was worse during the first three months, huh? Yeah, it's definitely getting better, but it'll be a good one today. It'll be downwind and a beautiful day sail. Blowing. Good speed. Nice, I'm up. Just the four of us, quiet boat. Pole time. Yep, yeah. downwind. Furl the sail in, put the pole out. Ooh, that was a smooth pole. Everybody ready? Ready. Jim coming out. So what's the name of this sail, Brady? Uh, this is a Jenniker, so it's like a Genoa made out of spinnaker material. So it's super light, but instead of being asymmetrical, it actually attaches to the forestay. Um, so it's a really cool sail, and Delos, the little Amels in general are like really good design for dead downwind, so you don't need to jibe. So you'll see when we put both poles up, it's literally just, it's pretty much like having an asymmetrical, but the benefit of having two smaller sails to work with and you can furl them together. If you get to a squall, you just furl them both up. Hearts never twist and entangle Then a telephone line Way past that I'm up at night and weary I'm unwound and I'm sound asleep Butterflies wake with me in the morning. Oh, how long has it been since they've been around? Good spot, this one. You look comfy there. Very comfy. It's such a good, yeah, because always good feelings come when that sails up. It's always calm and nice and downwind. And it matches the Puerto Rican flag. Perfect. Puerto Rico, baby. Yeah, it's quite a narrow entrance, but. And about to go right through the channel here. There's reef on both sides. Anchor is ready. Dropping. So it's about six meters. How much chain are you going to put out? Uh, put out about 30, 30 something meters, and then we'll snub it. 35 in total. Back in! So I like to back at least 1500 RPM. And that simulates like quite a bit of breeze, probably like well over 50 knots, I would say. And we just watch. Yeah, we're, we're hooked real good. Okay, uh, you can snub it. 
And that's it. Nice anchorage. I don't even know you and I know I feel like I know so much about all of you guys. I feel like we're their friends and we're not at all. <laughs> You're our friends. <laughs> Came out to say hi, that's good. It's a good I point. Hope so. Who's that thingy? Uh, so this is Nestor and he sent us some messages on Instagram because he heard we were coming to Culebra, Culebra and we literally just anchored and he's out here welcoming us to his beautiful island so I think we're going to get a cool locals perspective of the spot <laughs> what, So what's your guys' story? Like did you grow up here or? I am born and raised here Okay On this uh, island? On this island, five generations from here Whoa like, Yep And so. I'm from New York but I've lived here for like 12 years now Sweet Cool yeah. You guys don't mind if we film, do you? No, no Okay, of sweet <laughs> And that Probably. blue hole That's my baby boat right there wow. 35 foot the Pearson Alberg is cool. ours Yeah, cool. we, we live leave. aboard We've been living on it for seven years now My dream was always to have our sailboat what are we doing? We're gonna go explore around with our new friends. They're gonna show us the local spots. So I'm pretty excited. I like this place already. It has a good vibe and the best way to see a place, always, always, always with the locals. So they're gonna show us what's up. All right, that's where hooked us up with a ride. We're gonna go explore Solibra. It's like a dinghy ride on land. Yes. Like Delos loves a good car ride. This is true. And in the back of the truck, the better. The rougher, yeah. the better. <laughs> I feel like every Latin country I've ever been to is just like... Oh, in love with? I don't know, just like the pace is very different or something. It's so hard to put your finger on, but it's so consistent. It's chill, but stuff happens, and they make good food, and they have good music. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Trinidad and Tobago, we were like, we're in the Caribbean, we're gonna get them to go to Culebra. So, here we are, man. It's a blessing to see you guys here in our restaurant. Um, Acai. Dude. Acai. I feel like it's like a mini Brazil. Like, everyone is so friendly and so genuine, and you can get acai bowls. <laughs> Ooh! Those are really good potatoes. So good. for uh, conga night with wiki sounds it happens every saturday night here in culebra and everyone comes and dances there's good vibes and we chill out it's good times Today. Well, kiteboarding doesn't work out today because there's no wind again. So, um, Nestor is going to take us, him and Annabelle are going to take us in their little, yeah, please, in their, uh, is it too loud? Yeah, I'll just restart that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. How's it going? Pretty good. What's the plan for today? Well, there's no wind today for kiteboarding. Uh, so Nestor and Annabelle are gonna take us in their little center console tender. And we're gonna go around the corner to Culebrita. And we're gonna go hike a lighthouse. And um, I'm sure Nestor's gonna have some good exploration and guiding for us. Hey! What's up, mister? What's up? Mr. Senor. Si. Vamos pa Culebrita. Si, vamos. You know the history of the lighthouse? I know the history of the lighthouse. It was built by the Spaniards. It was built by the same people that built El Morro in San Juan. It's like a famous designer. And it was, it's like, for the longest, it's been the, the, old, the oldest working lighthouse in the Caribbean. Because it's built in the 1800s. Wow. Yeah, it's really cool. Incredible beach. 
This is a really, really beautiful spot. It's cool to go on a fast boat too. We never go to go in speed boats, speeding around. <laughs> so this is awesome. It's a really cool afternoon adventure with friends. Trail this way. Man, this is a good spot. Puerto Rico so far. That's a good vibe. It's check it does. It's checking all the all the things off the list. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go hike to the lighthouse. It's a beautiful day for a hike. Sure is. <gasps> Ow. Oh thorns. Uh. Ow. Look at this plant. It's filled with thornies. So we are going up on this hill here. I can definitely notice a little bit of a change in my body that I get like tired quicker and walking like this a bit hotter quicker. I need to drink way more water than I usually do. <laughs> but it's cool that I can still do this and that it feels good. You go with the belly. <laughs> wow, look at this spot. All right, I have a question. How many hurricanes do you think that building has survived since it was built? Five. Five? I think it's been way more than that. When was it built? In the 1800s. So it's probably like almost 200 years old yep. or something. Yep. It's got to be like between 50 and 100 hurricanes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> this place is stunning. It's so cool to go into old buildings like this that are all dilapidated and just walk around and think of all the people that have had their path cross right here and all the history behind it. And now it's just come to this. It's like barely, barely standing, no roof or anything. But I think they are gonna start restoring it. So it'd be cool to come back one day in the future and see, see if they've changed it all or if it's still standing. Freaking view. Whoa. Yes, please. It's going to be a very, very good view. What do you think about this view? Really nice. I like going into abandoned buildings. Me too, why is it so fun? Phew. That was a really cool little spot. Now we're gonna walk down the little hill again and maybe check out the baths, which seems pretty cool with like tidal pools. You're gonna jump, Brady. Very graceful. Tonight is Kaz's cooking night. Yeah, my they will be switched for tomorrow, I think. Because <laughs> we have guests in the kitchen. We have a guest, chef, and sous chef. Yes. 
<laughs> this evening and what are we preparing? We are gonna make Puerto Rican mofongo, vegetables and criollo. The criollo sauce. Yeah, and some black and string beans for appetizer. Okay. Like front of both. How about how about this one? <laughs> We're just peeling the green banana. Um the plátanos. We, the plátanos, we usually cut the ends and then you just slice it and they're a little tough because they're green so you have to just kind of like take your patience and Yeah, and I take think your mom usually to. uses a spoon for peeling them. Yeah, yeah, we can try the spoon. I always like to use my fingers. Well, I'm fucking murdering this one because he has the camera on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, redo. For the mofongo, you need to put a lot of garlic on it. Just go for your I think we're just to put a little garlic in there. Oh yeah. There, no, sir. Some frying glasses. Potatoes <laughs> <laughs> right in there. Yeah. That's it. Step is uh, putting some garlic and the, the fried plantains. A little bit of oil. And some salt. And a little salt, yeah. And then we get to mashing. Find like a bowl, anything to give it its shape. Yeah, that's my teacup. I put this stuff in it. Wow. And then it comes out like that. Ooh, and then you can fill it with whatever goodness you want. Yeah. Oh, gracias. Yeah, nada, buen provecho. White bean. That white bean is good. So, what does mofongo mean? Mofongo. <laughs> Where my phone go? <laughs> Where my phone go? Where my phone go, gringo? <laughs> Where my phone go, gringo? Where my phone go, gringo? Oh, that's good. The new mm. friends. Thank you, guys. Yeah, the new friends. Yeah. You guys should open up a restaurant. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful Sunday morning, and we just got delivered. I don't, I don't think we're ever leaving this place, man. You <laughs> get a call from Nestor stay. on the phone. Hey, I'm circling your boat. I got some deliveries for you. Like, what are you talking about? It's eight in the morning. Go outside, and he's got four big acai bowls for us. Just healthy goodness. He yeah. walks up to his little boats. They're so cute because I ordered hemp seeds on my food yesterday. <laughs> so they even brought a little side of hemp seeds. Oh. They're so nice. So nice. So sweet and healthy too. Also, this is the best acai I've ever had. It's really good. It's so good. The consistency of it is perfect. So what are the plans for today? Do we have anything on the agenda? Um, I think after we work for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> what was that bird? He used to be a reggaeton DJ. Yeah, we were talking about reggaeton and, and um, Nestor didn't know I used to be a reggaeton DJ. I think I remember seeing you when the... <laughs> <laughs> Rewind! Rewind! Drop the pussy! <laughs> Wait, are you going to do that again? Yeah, I the best app ever. That's oh, just hilarious. Just a typical work morning here, trying to get stuff trying done. Trying to get shit done. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing today? Um, we're gonna be doing a little present for Delos. It's my pride to to donate something and I've been doing canvas work and learning to do canvas work for a while and I saw that uh, that he has a scoop in the back and I was uh, wondering like, uh, what can I do for Delos? And I asked him and he's like, ah, let's do it together. So we're gonna do a new Scoop so. to build something here so that we don't have to close this hatch every time it starts to rain and blast yeah, water out all over our computers. Yeah, and it's gonna be like a wind tunnel. I did a little sketch last night. Yeah, it goes like that. Uh, so this would be the deck level, right? Mm -hmm. This would be the hatch. But I don't so, know if we should do it as a box or as a is a a, a a triangle or a you know like a tent, like curved. Mm -hmm. We should well, let's discuss some pros and cons and then we'll come back with some options. Sounds great. So we're gonna build something like that, like a roof. Okay, so based on fitting the existing patch up there, we have a revised design. It's got an improved ergonomic curved top. This front part is gonna be slightly slanted back to help with airflow. This is the hatch inside this chamber. And uh, I don't think it's gonna be that difficult to do. I like, I like the way you think. I don't think so. Course. Smells like new, huh? Oh yeah. We've only used it like a few times. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> new thing, right? Just learning how to hot knife here. I guess we're just patterning 
this curve. So this is double-sided tape made specially for Sombrella? Yes, sir. Okay. And this helps it be waterproof as well. It's really a nice machine. Makes it so easy when you have the right shit. Oh, yeah. Having fun, man. This is good to learn. How long have you been working on this for now? What time is it? It is 4 o'clock. We started at like 10, 10, 10. 30. So we're six hours in. But we're making progress. That's cool. We have decided to make two of them. Oh, really? Yeah. One for, One for your you. hatch. Oh! <laughs> Beautiful. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah, we need to decide where we're gonna put the, uh, the attachment points. We're about to do our first test fitting here. Look at that thing, man. It's pretty sweet, huh? Holy shit, that's cool. Good job, guys. Sleep easy, the hooded warrior. <laughs> now available from <laughs> the slutty seamstress nester. Sleep easy number one. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh that's great airflow. Yeah. That's Look at that. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> hey, really, you like it? I like it. Good job. Approved. Ah, Rainproof. Yeah. It looks really cool. It's raining outside. Our sleep easy is being put to the test. Any water droplets yet? I haven't seen one coming in. Not yet. one bit of moisture coming in here. Real hot. That's cool. What are you doing, Brady? <coughs> I got a message from my, my best friend's mom. She's talking about crazy government grants and stuff. And uh, I thought for a second it was her because you never really know what's going on with our parents these days. <laughs> <laughs> but it turns out it's a scam. And I texted this number. They said applying for grant is easy, we can help you out with it. And they gave me all these questions, name, address, sex. My name is Talon Montgomery. <laughs> I live at 6969 Bubble Salad Court. Sex, I put no. Age, I put 69. Uh, marital status, I took it as martial status, so I put black belt almost. I have a disability allergic to the sun. I have a pager number, but don't page me after 9 a.m. Email address, I already gave you my address above. My income is 560,000 US dollars a month. Uh, do I have a car? No, I only travel by helicopter. My occupation is founder of the sensual seamstress. We make the sleep easy. Yeah, we'll see where it goes. <laughs> I figure if I take up these people's time, it's less time they have to scam people that are actually scammable. And you love doing it. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> okay, ready, take two, and Good, mo good morning. We are. Uh, I'm using the resources of having smart Delos uh, people Plus around, two. and I've been refitting this uh, west sail that I got on my after Hurricane Maria. What happened to the rudder during the hurricane? The rudder. Uh, well, the boat. Um, it was on a mooring, and we broke from the mooring, and it ran aground ashore. The tide was so high that kind of like climbed up there, and it lost like maybe I don't know, like a foot and a half of the bottom of the rudder. So I put foam in West System and I don't know, like a week and a half of work and then paint it all the way, build the new chicks, build everything new. So it should be good to go. You gotta so have Kaza say what the name of the boat is. Christopher Robin. <laughs> what? That's how you say the name in Swedish. Christopher Robin. Christopher Robin. <laughs> and what's, what's, how do you say it? Christopher Robin. <laughs> 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 nice. 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 So Nestor, you bought her for how much? Four thousand? Four thousand. Four thousand US 4, 000 for this boat. US. Crazy deal. Yeah. How I much time do you think you've got into this boat in hours? Ooh, tons of hours. When I bought it, it was full of water, and we spent a month cleaning every day from like ten until ten o'clock at night Fuck. to save the inside of the boat, and we wish, wish we did. Yeah, the rudder was broken, and that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna reinstall the rudder that I just finished rebuilding it. Should be good to go. All right, man, let's do this, let's huh? Let's get to work. Okay, so step one, we got two big anchors, and we're gonna walk them to the back of Christopher Robin to use it to weigh the rudder down because it's so buoyant. So we need to weigh it down as we're putting the pins in. See if Brian can walk on the, on the bottom with these anchors.
Looks nice. Thank you, sir. We've got the first pin in that he's working on the middle one now. Oh, this thing is so buoyant. I just have to hold it straight so it doesn't float up off one side of the boat. Are there no holes on that side? Yes. Did I not, not drill it at the bottom? <laughs> what? Well, we've got it all lined up. <laughs> Good that we noticed. On the bottom, there's only one hole. Somebody forgot to drill the holes. <laughs> I wonder who that was. Oopsie. Oopsie. He was too excited. He was too excited. Fuck. Good Sorry. thing we have an underwater drill. We finally get to use this for something practical. Okay, step one, you pressurize it. Not very much, just to about two or three bar. Which is what, uh, 30, 40 PSI. And then it's good to go down for like 50 meters or something crazy. What? So there's three bar. And then you just drill. <laughs> I love working on boats, so I pretty much jumped at the chance for an underwater rudder install. Nestor and Annabelle opened their home and hearts to us, and to be able to give a little something back that would help them with their cruising dreams brought our experience full circle here in Culebra. Plus, I really, really wanted to use my underwater drill. How cool is this thing? And just like that, it was time for Delos and crew to set sail for the Bahamas. Ahoy Delos tribe! We've torture tested these new, long sleeve, sun resistant shirts on Delos, and we're happy to say they totally withstood our abuse. Kaza did the design of Delos sailing on the globe, and the stretchy material is oh so comfortable. They're available in men's and women's sizes to fit all, and they're printed in limited quantities, so get them while they're hot. 10 points goes to whoever can figure out what that is. 12 celebrities you didn't know were Puerto Rican. So we're wasting data on. <laughs> that thing's digital, right? Oh yeah. Good it's... jive, guys. <laughs> That's funny. Gotcha. You need to pee really bad. <laughs> you, you're peeing for two. God dang it. Show me your penis again. That's just really disturbing, Casa. Business in the front. Party in the back. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? I like it a lot. <laughs>